consistency is everything you won't achieve your goals without consistency in this video i'm going to give you 10 tips for you to master the art of consistency so let's do this Before I get into the 10 points of consistency, I'm Jordan Vasilio. I mainly do fitness education, self-development, and travel vlogs. If this sounds like the channel for you, hit the subscribe button. But for now, I'll give you the definition of consistency. According to the Cambridge English Dictionary, the definition of consistency is the quality of behaving or performing in a similar way or always happening in a similar way. And now that I've given you the definition of consistency, we'll get into the 10 points now. So my first point to consistency is setting clear goals. You cannot have consistency without clear goals. You want to define specific, manageable, achievable achievable relevant time bound goals and you want to break these larger goals into smaller manageable tasks if you're looking at your goal on the larger spectrum it might become a little bit overwhelming so that's why it's great to break them down into smaller tasks and if you're ticking off one of these small tasks one at a time you're slowly working your way towards your main goal my next point to being consistent is discovering your why to realize why you're doing this in the first place and why you're working towards these goals why why what? Having a why allows you to understand the deeper reason behind your goal and also by having a why it will allow you to connect emotionally to your goal as well. And this takes me into point number three, having a why will help you increase your willpower. Having a why would increase your willpower drastically and it makes it a lot easier to say no. no! By increasing your willpower this will help eliminate all distractions, increase your focus as your goals have deeper meaning behind them and increasing your willpower will help with consistency as your tunnel vision and nothing will stop you from reaching your goals. So my point number four to consistency is creating a routine you have to develop a daily or weekly plan which allows time for you to work on your tasks consistency often thrives off a structured schedule and i'm not gonna lie it can be very boring and demoralizing if you're doing the same thing every single day and not seeing immediate progress towards your goals and also by increasing your willpower this will help you stick to your routine on a day-to-day -day basis but you just have to trust the process i've given you four key points to consistency so hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and we'll get into the rest point number five and i'm gonna sound like a really mad man saying this but you just have to manifest the secret ingredient is nothing you have to imagine achieving your goals regularly. By visualizing your goals, this could really help increase commitment and increase your motivation. And you really shouldn't be scared to talk about your goals. Who knows, you might cause a spark in someone and you might increase their motivation and get them thinking outside the box. Energy is really contagious and I cannot stress how important it is to talk about your goals. And it is really important for you to manifest your goals and living the life that you want. You might actually inspire someone. But point number six is to build habits. Building habits is anything which will make your life easier in the the long run these habits could be anything from improving your health reducing your stress or saving you time for example exercising meditating and food prepping that's an example of each of the three habits are actions that you subconsciously do over time and it allows you to have free time to think about the important things one very small habit that's changed my life is putting my gym clothes out the night before because i go gym really early this makes my life so much easier as i don't necessarily have to think about what i'm going to wear to the gym that morning when i'm half asleep point number seven i touched on this briefly before so i'm not going to get too into this but this is eliminating distractions you have to identify and minimize your distractions which could take you off track and you also have to create an environment with benefits concentration and productivity for example i don't really recommend working in the same environment where you chill as you're in that environment mentally you just want to switch off so i definitely recommend you separate in both those worlds just to eliminate the distractions so my eighth point is staying positive there will be some days where you do feel really down feel unmotivated and you feel like you're not seeing any progress but you just got to stay positive and trust the process you have to remember the positive aspects of a journey and remember why you're doing this why why what? You have to accept that setbacks are a natural part of the progress and you can use them as learning experiences and that's a positive within itself. And this goes into my next point and I kind of touched on this previously and this is surrounding yourself with positive people. As I said before, energy is contagious and also that famous saying, you are the average of the five people who you spend the most time with. So for example, if you're surrounding yourself with an unambitious, negative person, this energy might rub off on you. So make sure you find a group of people who are on the same wavelength as you. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what you're doing. Just just as long as they have ambition, they want to grow and they want to develop and progress in life. That's all the energy what you need. I understand it's very hard to network with someone who's on a higher level of you. However, that's why it's very important to find these people who are like-minded with you so you could grow with and get to that level with together. So my last point incorporates all the other points and that is don't lose sight of the bigger picture. You got to remember why you're doing this and where you want to get to in life and the reason why you started. Manifestation will give you that constant reminder of the bigger picture. Although I stated in the first point to have a clear goal and to break this 
go down into smaller tasks. Keep the bigger picture in mind. All these small tasks are just a jigsaw puzzle towards your future. And you've got to remember that your goals and your dreams are way bigger than the small tasks that you're currently working on. And these small tasks are going to utilize the majority of your time. So you've got to remember you're doing these small tasks for something way more superior. So don't lose sight of that bigger picture. So that is my 10 points of consistency. But before I leave, I just want to give you a bonus point and that is reward yourself. As we're breaking down our big goal into smaller ones, once you complete one, don't forget to treat yourself. You have to establish a system where you can reward yourself and it's very difficult to be 100% tuned in without your end goal in sight. So you have to reward yourself every once in a while once you hit milestones and landmarks. But anyways, if you've made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you found this video beneficial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. So until next time, peace. Yeah, come on, get me.